Rangers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Bruins will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Directs it on over to Marchand. Columbus looks to move the puck from their own end. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Bruins so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Here's a short pass to McAvoy. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. From the wing, it's moved to center. On the attack and on the boards. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Dumps it in. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Handles the pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Drives the puck away. Tarasov's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. DeBrusque's got the puck. There's a shot, and he keeps that one out. Boston's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Big open ice hit! In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Quick pass to Severson. And there's the save on the play! allmark has been great to start this season. I mean, he's got an excellent save percentage. His team's been winning games, and he starts another one with an incredible save. Shot! Too much congestion in front. The Blue Jackets take possession in the defensive end. Boston's got the puck against the boards. The Bruins take over on possession. Down the right side and into the zone. Moves it quickly over to Jenner. Made the stop on the play. Smacks it on net. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. A huge opportunity to go ahead in this game, James, but it hits the pipe and out. Now they're chasing. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Bruins have been handed two for interference. Puck is dropping and wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it over to Marchand. Sends it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. A reminder, the team store always accessible to you online, 24-7, 365 online. But don't forget, you can also visit their uh, location in person at the arena, open seven days a week. Check it out. Some very cool stuff to get your hands on these days. And that's broken up. Stones him with the blocker. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. There's always a lot of anticipation when you're playing your former team for the first time. Listen, you're friends with a lot of the players that are on the ice. You know their tendencies. But when you step on it, you are enemies. And you got to find a way to have the upper hand. Because at the end of the game, guess what? You want the bragging rights. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Quick feed to Marchand. Denies him in front. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Columbus with possession in their own zone. Shot! Denied by Omar. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Taken along the wall by Jenner. Oh, makes the save! That was a rocket! Looks to get the puck over to Kiki. Parisi's up and ready to get back on the ice. The Blue Jackets fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. I like this PK, James. When one goes, you all go very aggressive and look at the shots they get off of it. Pass out front! Can't connect the play! Boston's got the puck along the wall. Takes the whack, but still hangs on. Scooped up along the wall by Dubé. And that one's stopped. Delayed penalty coming up here. Loses his balance on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the goal. 
Doc's got that snipe zone ability. His shots are so accurate when the puck is flat and ready for him. Gaudreau's puck on his ring zone ability means he can stick handle his way past defenders. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Fredericks recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Boston's won it, now they'll go on the attack. The Blue Jackets have it now. From off the wall and onto a stick. Works it across to Wierenski. And that's intercepted by Frederick. Boston's got the puck along the wall. They score! A shorthanded goal puts them in front. Well, the role of the PK is to go out there and stymie the power play. Instead, they go the other way. They recognize the opportunity, and they get a goal. Well, a real great job by the net front player here. Looking back, seeing where the eyes of the goaltender are and moving accordingly. But if you're the goaltender, you got to battle the net front player. you got to find a way to bob and weave and to stop that puck. Boston's finding another level here in the back half of the first, now up by one. Well, they're playing their brand of hockey, aren't they, James? I mean, they've been so competitive, and it would look like this is a pretty tight game, but it's not when you look at the shot selection and the shot share. They have just dominated in terms of having the majority of shots on net. The Bruins will kill off a few extra seconds now. Gives it right back. Now over to Frederick. Boston's got it along the wall. And he had an answer with that save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. White's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And they win the draw here in their own end. Fenstrom's picking up steam. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Puck grabbed by Grislyk. Into the offensive end now. Into the corner now. One last rush here on this power play. The Blue Jackets man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for giving up a shorty. The expectation when you're on a power play is to score a goal, not give up one, James. This is a tough one to take for this group. And he takes the feed. And a quick save on that one. Tries to get it over to Dubé. Moves the puck along the half wall. Fires it. Stopped by the goaltender. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Boston's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Made the stop on the play. Oh. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. The Bruins have to be feeling good about their game after what we've seen for the better part of this opening frame here, Cheryl. Yeah, they doubled down and, and got their second goal here, James. They've really pressed and loved their tempo. And when I was an athlete, I didn't like the intermission at this time. You're on all cylinders here. Everyone's firing, and now you got to go sit. It's the coach's job, leadership in the room, to keep them fired up for the second. From the back of the cage with the puck. Denied by the goaltender. Russ has been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Boston's won the draw. Here's the blast! And that one flies over the net. Cutting to the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. McAvoy's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Answered the call there. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Well, there's 
the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Bruins coming off a fantastic first 20 minutes, James, where they led in puck possession. They managed it extremely well, and it's a reason why they're up by two. Marchand's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a stick. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Moves with the puck at the corner. Centering feed! Scores! You can't put it in the net, James, but first you gotta find the puck and you gotta get it, and that's exactly what he does best. He is known for his knack for tenacity. He is so tenacious and relentless on the puck, he wins the battle and gets the apple for his efforts. Boston's come to play, and they are showing no mercy. Now 3-0 in period number two. You gotta love the scoring efficiency stat, but man, they've held possession, haven't they, James? They've known how to hold it, they've shielded the puck, and they've opened up lanes for their teammates. This has been one of the most unselfish games I've seen them play. The Bruins played along the boards. Columbus gains a hold of it. Wierenski's got the puck in his own zone. Tries to get it to Severson. Moves it to Johnson. Fires it on net. And another stop. Well, he has been under siege. And I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Sends it over to Texier. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Dubé. Slides it diagonally to Coyle. Takes it at center. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Change up, change up. Taken by DeBrus. Boston's in on the offensive attack now. Passes out front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Moves it over to Roslovic. Takes a shot. Glove save and a flamboyant one at that. Allmark said a quiet night, James. He's been watching most of the game from the other end because of the offensive nature of his team tonight. But man, does he make a nice save there. And that's showing that he's emotionally engaged. He's staying prepared, even though he hasn't been busy. Boston's got it in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Shattenkirk. The Blue Jackets going to work on offense. Shattenkirk loving the puck. Pass in front. Oh, and he fans on it. An easy glove save made by Tarasov. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Bruins lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And he totally whiffs on that one. What a great read breaking up the pass. Puts it in deep. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Parisi swooping in on the attack. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Stop up, stop up. Sent into the offensive zone. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. And a solid stop on the play there. The Bruins have it against the wall. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And he makes a save, and that had some hot sauce on that one. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Sends it down low. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. They've got an odd man rush here. Oh, and the rush comes to an end after that block. Passes on over to Carlo. And here's the pass to Pasternak. Here they come on the attack. Columbus has it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And that's deflected. Tosses it on to Lindholm. And he moves it up to McAvoy. Sends the pass in front. And that's stopped. There's 
gets the whistle as the puck is frozen up. More than half the period has expired. The Bruins are in cruise control, leading it 3 0. Sack has got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Puck leaves the zone, they'll be forced to regroup. Puck picked up by McAvoy. Quick pass to Saka. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And that's a smart heads up play by Severson. Moves it quickly over to Goudreau. Poked away in the neutral zone by Lindholm. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that's stolen by Goudreau. And a good save on the play as action continues. Gains the zone on the left wing. Centering pass! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Centering pass! Scores! What an opportunity and delivers! Uh, James, coaches just love these players. I mean, the name of the game is possession. If you don't have the puck, you can't win it. This retrieval is excellent. Hounding it, finding a way to separate body from puck, and then taking it to the net for the tally. Unbelievable. The Bruins continue to hammer the accelerator here in the late stages of period number two. It's been attack, attack, attack all night long. Yeah, they had the puck on their stick. They've driven the net when they've had the opportunity. And, I mean, they just played well. They've been dominant tonight, James. Puck scooped up by Jube. Boston's on the attack. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Shattenkirk gaining momentum. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. And he slides it quickly to Rostovic. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that's deflected off someone in front. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Columbus is trailing entering the third period here, and the only way it's going to change is they start having some urgency around the puck and be confident when they get it. I mean, really, the numbers in terms of possession are really low, James, and they haven't been able to generate any offense at all. That needs a change if they want to get back in the game. Boston's got the puck. Columbus gains control of the puck. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Stuffs him again. What a great job of tracking the puck up. One but two consecutive saves. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Nice save from point blank range. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. The Bruins are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. Coyles won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Feeds it up ahead. And he's ridden off the puck. Make a change, make a change. Severson's taking it from his own end. Quick feed to Roslovic. Puts it on net, and he stops that kid in there. Wow. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Gaining steam here on the attack. Scores another one. And listen to these fans now, Cheryl. They don't like it one bit. Oh, they don't like it, James. It is ugly inside the building. It couldn't get any fans are booing. Coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example. When the pass is crisp and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. The Bruins are having themselves a night. They probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Nah, I wouldn't. If you're padding the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. And now it's grabbed by Severson. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Moves it to Parisi. Tries to feed it over to Tessier. 
Moves the puck. Takes the shot. Here's the shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Texier. Here's the shot. Big stop right there. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Takes that pass back at the point. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Oh, denies them with the paddle save. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. How did he stop that one? Denies him again. You gotta figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Omar's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. The Bruins offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Bruins will play it against the boards. Oh, just a great heads up play by Provorov. They've got numbers. Sends it to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Pad save with ease. And does it again. Marchand's got control of the puck in the corner. Here he is on the backhand. Answered the call on that play. Oh, he saved it. Oh, my goodness, what a score. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. It's been effective in all three zones. They've held play in the offensive zone. They've carried through the neutral zone. And in particular, they've been fantastic in their own zone. They protected the house. They protected their goaltender. And now it's about protecting the shutout. Slides the puck down low. And he gets in front of that. Quick pass across to Robinson. Columbus gains the zone. The Blue Jackets gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Oh, he's going to feel that the rest of the game. They are wearing down their opponents with hits like that. Gets the puck over to Line And tries to make a diagonal pass to Goudreau. Boston's got a lead in this game predominantly because of that second line and the offensive production that they've had in this game. There's a lot of motion. They're playing well. They've got good speed and have been really impressed with their performance. Oh, big time save by as a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Oh, this is the net, and that was, what a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance, and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to get one by the Tendi. Oh, what a save by Tarasov. Columbus is in the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. The Bruins are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And then banks off a stick. That opportunity is rejected. Feeds the puck across to Olivier. Here's a pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Canadians are on the schedule next, and when those two teams meet up, it's always a fun one. We'll see you then, I'm sure. White's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Puts it away in his own end. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. And it's a quick pass to Jenner. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Shot! Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Here's a short pass to Olivier. Along the half wall with the puck. Good hit on the play. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck. Columbus is on the attack. And that's denied by Omar. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. And he denied that opportunity. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Big save right at the end. And there's the final horn bringing this one to an end. And the cherry on the top between the pipes, he picks up his first shutout of the season in that W. He doesn't get any better than that. The 
shutout. And look at that. Everyone's giving him stick taps and fist bumps. Some block shots at the end of the game. You know how badly the defenders wanted it for him as well. Hope you had as much fun as we did bringing you the action here from all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski.